In our last video, we were in the historic southern town of Savannah, Georgia, where we took a stroll along the Riverwalk, checked out many of its famous squares, shopped and dined in the downtown district, admired the historic buildings and houses, and of course, sampled the local cuisine and drink. In this video, we're in Brunswick, Georgia. Brunswick, Georgia is the ninth filming day on what we're calling Wanderlust 2022, our epic journey from Kansas to Florida and back again. If you've been following our travels, you know that some of these stops were planned and some of them were not. This is an example of the latter. Kara, as usual, why don't we have you start by telling us a little bit about this cute little city we happenstanced upon. Brunswick, Georgia has a current population of just over 15,000. It was formed in 1771 and named for the family of King George III of England. It's one of Georgia's two deep water ports and serves as the mainland city associated with the Golden Isles of Georgia, which are the barrier islands and the mainland port cities along 100 miles of the coastline of Georgia. Here you see the Ritz Theater. It was built in 1899 and originally opened as the Grand Opera House. Later on, it was converted to a movie theater. Today, you can go to live performances, movies, and various art exhibits there. Much thanks to the people who maintain the Wikipedia page for this city and pretty much all of them that we visit. What you see here is one of the many squares that the town has. If you saw our Savannah video, these might be familiar to you. Carol, can you tell us a little bit about the squares in Brunswick? Brunswick retains its original grid plan with its 14 squares. If you watched our Savannah video, you'll know this is known as the Oglethorpe plan. Each of the squares is named for one of the founding fathers of the area. And you can actually go online and read the history. I encourage you to do so. So this video begins with us going through the historical downtown. Uh, specifically, we are on Newcastle Street and we're working our way towards an old city hall, which we're excited to see. It was really neat to see the Brunswick Old Town Historic District and they've done a lot of restoration here. This area of town was put on the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. As with Savannah, I just love the way they incorporated these squares into the actual downtown. It just makes for such a neat visual experience. Like we've seen throughout our travels, even the smaller towns have their own distilleries and microbreweries. If you watch our videos, you know we love checking out the local breweries, but unfortunately on this particular day, we were there too early and the brewery hadn't opened yet. <laughs> I swear Jeff has beer radar because he can find a brewery in a town of five people. You, the viewer, might find this rather strange, but one of the things Caroline and I really enjoy about exploring old cities is the original advertisements on the buildings like we see here in front of us. Actually, now that I think about it, I like them even when they're not the original. They just take that space and put some art that mimics what the original artwork would have looked like. That's just as cool. A good example of that could be seen in our Ponca City video. Here we are in Queen Square, one of the larger, more open squares on the outskirts of downtown, and I'll give you an update here in just a minute.
So we just stumbled upon Brunswick, Georgia. It's between Savannah and our next destination, which is Florida. It is the cutest little town. It's got so many old buildings that are still in use and they're actually doing a lot of gentrification. So we think it's a really cute place and we're enjoying our tour. So here we finally made it to the old city hall. Of course, we actually didn't know how cool it would be, but pretty much every city that we visit that has one, they're always one of the best buildings. So Carol, can you tell us a little bit about it? Old City Hall was completed in 1889. What was really interesting is now it's used part-time as a courthouse and part-time as an event venue. Anything from weddings to reunions to big parties. And we'll come upon the new city hall shortly. Just beyond Old City Hall is Hanover Square, which is also Hanover Park. It's beautiful and I'll provide you another update here in just a moment. So this is a perfect example of if you have the time to get off the interstate and go on the highways. If we're being perfectly honest, Caroline and I have never even heard of this town. Uh, we just went down 17 instead of the interstate and ran into it, kind of an unplanned stop. But it's really cute. It actually reminds us a lot of a mini Savannah with its old downtown. There's a waterfront, it's even called Bay Street, just like it is in Savannah. Uh, and some really cool old historical buildings. And most, I guess, uh, similar are these squares. There's about a half a dozen of them that we've crossed by, and there's another, I think, amount to match on the other side. So uh, again, if you ever get the chance to travel and you can add a little bit of buffer into your time, get off the main path and check out these small towns because sometimes they turn out to be some of the highlights of the travel. As usual, we like to go through the residential neighborhoods so we can get a glimpse of these historic houses. They don't always make the video, but every town or city that we visit, Caroline and I always make a point of finding the oldest neighborhoods, usually those closest to the downtown, and check out the houses. I'm really grateful that there are people willing to take the time and effort to maintain these historic homes. I couldn't agree more. A little over a decade ago, we had an opportunity to buy a historic home, but I chickened out, and it's something that I've always kind of regretted. Now we're on the campus of Glynn Academy. It's a public high school with about 1,900 students. It was founded in 1788 and is the second oldest public high school outside of New England. The white building you're about to see was built in 1840 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. At this point, we've been walking around for about an hour. Since this was an unplanned stop, we needed to hit the road, so it was time to head back to the old downtown and find something to eat. And for those who are curious, here is the new Brunswick City Hall. We 
we chose Tipsy McSways for a fantastic lunch. And with that, it's time to wrap this video up. All right, what did you think of Brunswick, Georgia? I really liked it. This was an unexpected find. What a cute town, great restaurant that we had lunch, and I'm glad we got off the beaten path. Yeah, I already said earlier uh, that this wasn't a planned stop at all. We just sort of saw it on the way to our next destination. But again, uh, really, really worth our time to come down here. I uh, wish we had more time, but we don't because we're off to our next destination. So with that said, get off the couch. We'll see you next time. Cheers.